Hello, my name is Alex Chow from AP Commerce. In this video, I will talk about how to set up financial statements using the account schedules functionality within Business Central. There's basically two parts to setting up the account schedule. One is setting up the actual account schedule, which is the what I call the X axis setting up the column layouts basically the y-axis um, and at the uh, the third part of this uh, video we will talk about using the overview to print out the financial statements from business central you want to go to the account schedule screen what you want to search on is account schedules with plural there are a ton of other account schedules uh, you want to make sure you don't want to click on the report you want to click on the one that has a uh, list. For my first example, I'm going to create an income statement. So I'm going to click on new and call it IS, put a name. After I created the line, I am going to click on process and edit account schedule. From here, I can just insert my GL accounts. In this case, I am going to highlight my income statement accounts. Now I could go down to the very end, but I will keep it short just, just for this demonstration purpose. After I highlight, highlighted my account, I'm going to click OK. And it will populate my account schedule for me. For the income statement, I want to make sure my row type is set up as net change. After I set up my account schedule, I am going to close out of the account schedule setup page. Now I want to create the column layout. To do that, I'm going to click on process and edit column layout setup. I am going to create a new column layout that breaks down my numbers by month. After I define my name and description, I am going to go to edit column layout setup. These are basically the columns that you want to display. Since I'm going to be creating a monthly account schedule, I am going to give January, February, March. Now for the system to define a period I am going to use a comparison period formula now these there are formulas for these comparison um, and I will include the links for these formulas in the video description below if you want to have a grand total you will need to set a formula now to set a formula you want to go to a new line and set a formula here in order for the formula to calculate I need to define a column number so I am going to define a column number for each one of my column headers for the column number you want to make sure the length of the character are consistent across the boards otherwise you will get very weird results so for the formula I am going to sum up a010 dot dot a060 close out come back to the account schedules and define my default income statement by monthly using my monthly analysis. Now I'm ready to report. Now I'm ready to run my report. You could use a standard report to print it out on a piece of paper, but what I like to do is go to the overview screen. Since the columns are predefined with certain periods, I just have to make sure my date filter is within the right year and my numbers will show up. For this next part, we're going to create a balance sheet. The concept of a balance sheet is exactly, it's very similar to creating an income statement with one minor difference. The difference between your income statement and balance sheet is this row type. For balance sheet, you want to set this to balance at date because the balance sheet accounts are perpetual accounts. Once I set up the row types to balance at date, I'm ready to print. From here, I can choose the default column layout. I am going to use the same one that we've created earlier and click on process. If I click on overview, again, change my year. If I drill down on January, it will include all of the amounts until January 2021. If I drill down on February, it will include all the transactions up until February 2021. And that's it.